The three par, uh, you talked about earlier, brings a cloud dimension. So how much of the three par acquisition was sort of cloud related and, and future growth versus trying to fill out the portfolio? Well, here's what's interesting about three par, and I'm going to say the same thing about our store once technology. We have two new technologies that cover multiple market segments with one product. And no one else in storage can say that. So if you look at three par technology, if, and if you look at the traditional storage pyramid, right, of low end, mid tier, high end storage, three par covers mid tier storage, covers high end storage. And as you know, most companies have separate architectures and separate products for mid tier and high end, most developers of that technology. With three par, customers can start small and grow large. Again, very unique, no one else can do that. In addition to that, it covers the cloud. It has all that software out there that people want in cloud. It's multi-tenancy for security, the ability to have mixed workloads and still need SLA performance. All those features 3PAR has natively. So what's cool about it, again, is one product, multiple use cases out there. The second thing Store wants is the data duplication software that we introduced. Which came out of HP Labs. HP right? Labs, yeah. back to native innovation that we're speaking about. And with that, you know, dedupe is one of the fastest growing spaces in storage. People do client-side dedupe, they do uh, inline dedupe, they do primary storage dedupe. In today's world, prior to store once, you had to buy three separate products to do those jobs. The store once architecture is one architecture that does all three. So we're seeing huge customer uptake of that because again, one product that meets multiple demands, simplifies their life, simplifies their environment, and gives them more innovation faster. So that's